Hashtag Candlewood Suites. Um, we've got both cars basically loaded up and ready to go. We're just waiting on Aleda to be ready so that we can pull out of here. We've got two checkpoints we got to hit today and then uh, racing at Vandermeer tomorrow. So let's get on the road. All right, we're at our first stop of the day, which is Nebraska Land Truck and Travel Center. It's also a Sinclair gas station and they've got a dinosaur. And this is like one of the old school, like old, old dinosaurs. So this is really, really cool to see. There's a bunch of race week cars, a bunch of road week cars, a couple of cops here. So uh, you can definitely tell that this is a checkpoint. All kinds of cool trailers, cool cars. Uh, let's see if there's anybody that we know. Gassers, uh, the gassers here, I know them. Um, the prospector gasser that I was talking about in yesterday's video. Uh, oh, sorry, don't need to get run over. Um, I don't recognize anyone else, uh, at least not right now. But uh, this is cool. First stop of the day is checked off and uh, we're gonna get some snacks and stuff, I guess, and get back on the road. One thing about our family, or dad actually started it, is he loves these old Sinclair gas stations. Like we've actually got one of the Sinclair dinosaurs in our office and uh, I've kind of taken up like liking all the cool Sinclair stuff and everything whenever we visit Sinclair places and uh, oh dude this place has a Sinclair wall of memorabilia Check. dude I might have to get dad something oh dude check out the hat dude that's cool all right, I'm gonna see what I'm get, what I should get, Dad. Got a little plush dinosaur for Dad for the office, and then I got myself a keychain. The uh, the dinosaur is gonna go to Dad, but it's gonna be our mascot for the rest of race week. So uh, he's along for the ride. All right, we're passing our third station of today. We're gonna start keeping a Sinclair counter on uh, on the video. And that's three. That's a shiny dinosaur again. That's another new one. So uh, we're driving through these little tiny towns. Uh, we're on this road, which is the uh, US 138. No, we're on the 30. We're on this for 130 miles, and I'm guessing we've been on it for probably 20 or maybe 30 by now. So we've still got a ways to go on this road. And it's probably another uh, probably 200 miles to the next checkpoint, is what I'm guessing. So big thing with race week is the like uh, community aspect. So if one person's on the side of the road stopped, everybody pulls over and stops to help them. Okay, it looks like we're good here, but uh, everybody was pulled over. So we pulled over to stop and see if we could give them a hand. Dude, that thing is cool. Ride is sick. All right, we're back on the road. It was, twas nothing. This is cool. There's these little kids who have homemade signs for all the race weekers on the side of the road. <laughs> we are passing Sinclair number four. Is this a new one? Is This is not a new one. This one looks older. This one doesn't have a dinosaur. That's heartbreakingly sad. No, this might be a new one. Maybe they haven't gotten their dinosaur yet. Maybe someone stole it. All right, we're just making fuel stop number two. This Mustang has a just uh, fuel cell in the back of it. Mr. Blaine's working on filling it up right now. And that car just has a regular fuel tank, so we don't have to fill it yet. How's it going over here, Mr. Blaine? Pretty good. Yeah? See you been driving a little bit? Yep. Cool. Hey, nice shirt. Dude, this guy's little hoopty for uh, race week is cool. I'm not sure if he's just doing road week with it or if he's actually racing too. It's even on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> That's cool. That's really, really cool. I dig that. I also really like this sticker that's on the back or on the back and the side that says actual size. I think that's pretty cool. One thing that's cool about driving uh, this route that I've noticed so far is there's some things that are new and then there's some things that are super old and everything's unique. You've got different landscapes and all kinds of cool stuff. So it's uh, cool to get to see because it's all, it's not like the interstate or going down 35 or whatever. It's like, uh, 
some back roads and some old country highways. So you get to actually see some cool stuff as you go along it. Sinclair number five. There we go. Also, no dinosaurs. So who around here keeps stealing all the dinosaurs? Sinclair number six. So we're here at the Flying Jane. They've got this little uh, Max's Highway Diner. This place is uh, pretty cool. Got a old Triumph in there. Hey, what's up, Lane? I heard uh, Kyle's riding with you for a while in the Mustang. Yeah, I think so. Cool. It's freaking cool. hot, so I'm going to go make an air funnel. Nice. Oh, dude, that's cool. Check that out. Like like I said before, Dad is a huge fan of Sinclair stuff. I wish we could have that sign. That is cool. Uh, I'm riding with Cam. You're you're part of 1320, right? Or just hanging out with them? Yeah, I mean, I uh, I travel around with them and I'll do merch okay. for them here and there. And uh, so I was supposed to just be following them this week, and then they surprised me with a race entry for race week. So I was like, oh, like, yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're riding around in this uh, cool what 2020 2023 2023 zl1 camaro that is like the coolest thing ever it makes 650 horsepower and we just rolled into colorado so uh progress sinclair number seven so we just passed i don't know what the track was called but we just track passed one of the first tracks that rocky mountain race week went on and uh we're on the radio with matt and we're, he was just telling us about his friend troy in an old Model T, I think it was, he said, mm -hmm. that flipped over and flung the back tire 50 feet in the air, and he was in this old Model T with a roll cage in it, and Matt was like scared to death screaming no on the 1320 video, but uh, apparently the next year, all the race weekers pitched in and helped him get a new car and get back out here for race week, which is pretty cool to hear about. Claire number eight, I think it is. That one's just a baby one. Huh. We just had to stop for a minute and check out the trailer on the blue Mustang. We just came over a steep hill out here and all of a sudden the trailer was sideways behind the Mustang and trying to drag it all over the place. So we stopped and checked it. We think that it just unloaded the tongue when we came over the hill because we're going too fast. So slowing it down a little bit and we're back on the road and keeping going. I wish I'd gotten a video of it. It was scary. I believe that right there is Sinclair number eight, if I'm not mistaken. Not much. Oh, there it is there. Yeah, I believe that's number eight. All right, second checkpoint, a uh, brewing company. Stop here, get our pictures, and uh, get back on the road to Bandermere. This is a cool little hoopty that somebody has over here at the brewery. The license plate frame is what's really cool. We're gonna be get back on the road. I'm gonna drive the uh, red Mustang for a while, uh, probably all the way to Bandermere. We're not that far away, I don't think. I think we're like 40 miles or so. So I'm excited to drive it. Station number nine. I see mountain. Hello, mountain. Hi, how you doing? Nice. That that is really freaking cool. We might be a little bit lost because uh, directions uh, confused us a little bit. So they're over there trying to figure this out. I came over here to check out this uh, river. So let's see if I can't get down there. What's up, Mr. Blaine? How are you doing? Oh boy, check this out. That's cool. Hey, of all places to be stuck, at least it's uh, at least it's pretty. Yeah, and the shade. The shade's important. Dude, this is cool. What a place, dude. This is freaking awesome. We got it figured out, and we're hopping back up on the road. Let's go.
This is the first time we've been riding directly behind the wagon and uh, because Colorado roads aren't the best, you gotta move around a lot to avoid potholes. And it's crazy to see how much the uh, trailer moves around behind the Mustang since it's so much lighter and smaller than the wagon. Send it back. So the uh, GoPro audio quit, so basically I get to do a voiceover. Welcome to Bandermere Speedway, very, very pretty racetrack. Max saying something about probably racetracks and being pretty. Oh, we're talking to the camera now. Um, probably saying something about chickens because, you know, chickens. Um, ooh, some more things about chickens. Fascinating. Ooh, Mac agrees about the chickens. Um, probably back on Bandermere being super pretty. Oh. We're over here with Blaine, um, very sore, very tired from riding in the car. Blaine is also very sore and very tired. I think now we're talking about, uh, looks like Formula One is what I'm thinking. Um, maybe, may, maybe not Formula One, maybe it was Ducks. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Um, at the gas station, probably I've been driving all day, something about 450 miles and a little bit of a detour because we got lost because somebody didn't navigate to so well. Um, we're uh, making we're making jokes about something or another. Oh, he's 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 shaking. He, maybe he's cold. Oh, he's got his hands up. He he must be a semi-professional race car driver. Um, oh oh oh, I I remember that. I remember I said I have to hang out with him all week. And then he said something about, oh, yeah, it sucks to be you. Uh, yeah. Um, and now he's laughing about it. Laughing at my expense. Cool. Um, love that for me. Thanks, buddy. Check that out, dude. We got ourselves unlost, and we're probably uh, 30 or so minutes from the track. We got Sinclair number nine right over here where we're fixing to get some dinner real quick. So uh, these guys are over here leaning on his car uh, taking pictures. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about that, Mr. Blaine? Alright, so um, I'm not sure what my GoPro's problem is, but it decided to kill every bit of audio that I've... Pretty, pretty much every bit of audio that I filmed on the thing yesterday, including my outro. So uh, we're redoing it this morning. Um, we made it home. We're back at uh, Blaine's house. We're, we're, we've got the YouTube studio set up, editing. YouTube studio. And... Um, yeah, today we race at Bandermere, which I'm super excited about. Bandermere is my favorite track in the country, so I am super excited to be back there since uh, we'll, I'll only get to be back there two times before, uh, before they close, which is very heartbreaking. I'm not excited about them closing. Um, right now we are in first place with the Mustang, the blue Mustang in the stick shift class, which is awesome. Yay. I don't know, uh, Blaine, the uh, junior street class hasn't started... Um, keeping track of it, I guess, yet, so um, we're uh, going to work on that today, make a bunch of runs, and go fast, and have fun, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and follow along so that you can see the rest of race week, and remember, never, ever, ever give up.